Question number 10, the name of Deputy John Coyne. Uh, Margaret Kian Corla, Minister, the question relates to the provision and update of the new uh, divisional HQ uh, in Galway and to give a progress report on it. Thank you. Minister. Thank you, Deputy Kine. The programme of replacement and refurbishment of Garda accommodation is based on accommodation priorities which are established by Garda Shikona. The programme is advanced in close cooperation with the uh, Office of Public Works, which has responsibility for the provision and maintenance of Garda accommodation, and funding is provided in the vote of the Office of Public Works. In July 12, the Government announced an economic stimulus package, which included three major Garda construction projects, namely the development of new divisional headquarters stations to replace the existing headquarters quarters at Wexford, Galway and Kevin Street. And initially they were to be financed by way of public-private partnership. However, the Office of Public Work uh, was subsequently requested to develop the new facilities by way of a traditional procurement process. I want to tell the Deputy that's obviously going ahead. Uh, there's a capital allocation of 42 million to enable the commencement of work on these three new Gardinal uh, Division uh, headquarters. And in relation to Galway, uh, uh, Deputy Coyne, I can tell you that I have been advised by the Garda authorities that the procurement process for the construction of the new Garda Divisional Headquarters in Galway is significantly advanced, with work uh, expected to commence in the coming months. Deputy Coyne. I thank you, Minister, for that reply. Uh, it's certainly welcome it. And I also, as, as we start on that process of building the HQ, I, I welcome the additional recruitment announced this week in relation to Garda Shikona, and I'm confident, obviously, that Galway will get its fair share. Can you confirm that the Garda Commissioner will obviously take uh, cognizance of the Gaeltacht areas in Galway, that we will have sufficient um, numbers that are proficient in the Irish language as required on the various uh, language acts? Well, I will certainly um, raise uh, that issue with the Commissioner. Clearly, there are operational de decisions, uh, but the fact that we now have 550 uh, recruits uh, going through Templemore is, of course, going to be a help in, in, in relation to the particular point uh, which you raised, and will also be uh, of great help uh, you know, to ensure that we have the kind of local uh, community policing, including in the Gilcott areas, uh, that is necessary and essential uh, for a, you know, a, a proper policing service to protect the community and to interrupt crime. Thank you.